eyes behind my stone cold eyes I turn to ashes but only just sometimes Inhale your smoke but you still act surprised It's not my fault when we end up capsized You call me crazy now but you don't understand I'm calling out to you Can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match That ignites the flame I'm the TNT But you're the spark to blame And it's fire Burning holes inside my brain Feel the fire Spoiler, 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 spoiler alerts I just... I'm not gonna like try to spoil it, you know, and like make it terribly spoiled, but I am going to like break down the words and we're gonna talk about it a little bit. So in the beginning of the book, you get a picture of one of the main characters, which I think is really cool. Like right away on like the first couple pages of the book, it paints a picture for Libby hating Nico. Like she despises Nico. But then, within like the same sentences, the author is talking about like how attractive Nico is and how he's handsome. And I feel like that's like, I mean, at some point, like if the author wants to get across that he's handsome, like she's gonna have to get that across at some point. But I feel like when you're trying to create this sort of animosity between two characters, it annoys me when I'm reading it. I just, I don't like that. I think that that's super corny. I'm judging really, really, really soon because I don't know. Uh, Libby has a boyfriend, his name is Ezra. And so she's already taken, but it just seems interesting to me like that authors would do that. Like when you're trying to build up these characters' hatred for each other, why are you talking about them being attractive? Like save that for another character. Like let another character explain how attractive they are, you know? like. Parisa, you can tell. I mean, I think you can tell that Parisa is the author's favorite character. The author, I feel like, gives more oomph into the, the vibe of the character. Parisa is like her own independent sauce. So you can kind of tell that the author's favorite character is Parisa. That's how I feel anyway. I just started this book, so everything I'm saying is completely invalid. So if you want to read this book with me, let's do it. Let's talk about it. Maybe we'll have the same opinions. I'm going to start doing these like book talks. The, the issue is I haven't read enough books to really do a book talk, which is why I'm doing the like, I'm just going to give a review as I go. So this is a New York Times bestseller. Coming up on the book talks, we will be doing the Inheritance Trilogy by N.K. Jemison, as well as The Priory of the Orange Tree. Okay, but I gotta go. I am like super late. <laughs> I gotta go pick up my boo. So see y'all later.